All right. So today I'm going to be starting Super Mario 64. And while I am able to capture my Nintendo 64, I I'm going to choose to do the 3D All-Stars version. I do own it for the 64. But I don't know. I I played through most of Mario 64 or at least an amount that I can remember back when this collection came out last year and I thoroughly had a fun like a, just an actual natural very fun time with this I forgot how much I like Mario 64 to be honest I know I know very well that it's not everybody's piece of cake it's not everybody's cupcake but uh, I as frustrating as this game can be because it can be and it will be annoying frustrating and aggravating Mario 64 is an aggravating game, but it's not like I've never been one to like throw a controller against a wall and I know people who have done that and broken their walls and uh, I don't know, I always question that kind of level of rage some people have. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna start and play it. I also just found it, it it's, I'm playing Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap right now, so it, it's easier for me to just keep the switch plugged in just start this up anyway with the highest resolution that uh, I really care for for this because even with the Eon adapter it would on, on the N64 if I play this on the N64 it would be 480p on this it's 720 so that's that's nice yeah so when I played it last year I got up to 52 stars it seems uh, da, da, da. I want to move that. I'm going to move it there so I can just choose this. And not worry about it. <laughs> Mario is dead. Uh. Hey, Mario. It begins. This was actually an. I have. For the majority of this year, I've thought out very far ahead of to what I want to play. Except for the one offs, generally. The one offs are one offs. It's just spur of the moment. Hey, I have this. Let me try this then. But for the series I've done for this year, it's been very thoroughly planned out at months in advance. And some of them, like, unraveled too, even since the early last year. But uh, I think this is the first. This may be the first series this year that's just kind of, hey, let me try playing this. Okay. Uh, which version of Mario 64 is this? That may be a stupid statement to some people, but there are two versions of Mario 64. Well, three versions, technically. There's the original Jap- yeah, there are three versions of Mario 64. There's the original Japanese version, there's the United States- well, the Western version that we all got on the N64 in North America and such. I don't know what PAL got exactly. I think they got what we got. Maybe. And then uh, Japan got another version that was updated with some of the things from the North American version and also swapped a few things around. What is that version called again? I looked, I was I was tempted to get a copy of it when I got to Bitsu no Mori. It starts with an S, I forget what it is though. Anyway, I'm not too privy on having all these black borders around the screen, so I'm going to try and expand out the screen a little bit just to fill out the void, although OBS, you see in the camera, move around and such. Yes, Mario, go to sleep. Go to sleep while I do this. Technical issues. I should have done this ahead of time, but like I said, this is very impromptu. OBS is not... that should be fine. That should be good. That's the max size. I'm gonna try and keep that as a preset, maybe. And if not, I'll try to recreate it for next time uh, as a preset. 
Like I had to create a preset for the PlayStation Vita screen ratio because it's a little weird. Anyway, that should be a little bigger. It should be a little nicer to look at. And yeah, let's get started. Good afternoon, the Lakitu Bros here, reporting live from just outside the Princess's Castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene, and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned, as seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended an angle, but you can change the camera angle with R. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. Take a look at the surroundings, stop and tilt R forward. Press B to resume play, switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review, will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been Lakitu Brothers. How many brothers you got, Lakitu? I only see one of you. I can't do a Bowser voice. Uh, I'm gonna do my shitty Arthur Morgan for this then, I guess. Welcome! No one's home! Now scram! And don't come back! Uh -huh. <laughs> Dutch! I need- I, I know this is sad, since I just got done with The Witcher 3's main campaign, but I already am kind of really in the mood to do another big adventure game. And the one that's been bouncing around in my head constantly, and I keep having to say, nope. No, stop it. No, we're not doing that right now. We're not doing that right now. We just finished Witcher 3. Gotta chill. Gotta take a chill. Play Mario. Play some Pokemon Snap. Play some Nintendo. My brain's like, you know, we could play Red Dead 2. With a, with a big smirk on their face. It's like, we could play Red Dead 2. You know you want it. You know you really want it. It's been three years. This year will, ma this year will make the third year since Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. It's been that long already. You gotta play it. You gotta play the game. No. No. I can't do it. I'm like Mario. Gonna go to sleep. Just forget it. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll play Red Dead 2 this year. I don't intend to. I didn't intend to. I got other plans. And that's a really, re that's about as big as Witcher 3. That's a really big game. <laughs> I was thinking maybe next year, but I don't know what's going to happen, man. I don't know if I'm just going to boot up and be like, yep, strap in, I guess we're doing Red Dead 2, or if it's going to be something I just put off for many, many months and do sometime next year or the year after or something. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, talk to bomb bombs. Yep, let's just play Mario 64. I'm going to pretty much stop reading the dialogue boxes at this point. This is not a first-timers playthrough of this game. Mario 64 was not my first Mario game, though. Nope, oh, missing it. Yep, and the chain chomp got me. My first Mario game, if I can land on this thing. You see, this is where the aggravating comes in. And I actually, I didn't even pay attention to my health then. That, that, was, that was entirely on me. I own up to that death. First death. First level, first death. That is a bad omen for the rest of this play. Through. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, Mario 64 was not my first Mario game. My first Mario game... It had to be Mario Sunshine. Yeah, it was Mario Sunshine. Because I had the game... GameCube was my first home console. And I didn't have any Mario games for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, come on, Chain Chop. Come on, Mario. Push it down. There we go. I'm going to be doing the stars totally out of whatever suits my fancy order that I choose to do. Yeah, for Nintendo, because I was raised a PC gaming kid. 
with uh, edutainment stuff and other things like Amazon Trail, 3rd Edition, SimCity 3000, The Sims, Ski Free. Uh, I didn't really play a whole lot of like arcadey video game kind of stuff. For many years, I don't think it was until I got my Game Boy Advance and I got a copy of Pokemon Fire Red and soon after that I got Minish Cap and then the following year I got a GameCube and got Mario Sunshine, got Ed Ed Nettie The Misadventures what else did I get? Pokemon XD Gala Pokemon XD Gala of Darkness. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm remembering now. What was my what was the Christmas like that I got that on? And that was I got the GameCube. It was the bundle Pokemon XD Gala Darkness with like the Shadow Lugia on top of the console and such. So I got that, and I got Wind Waker and Madagascar, <laughs> the video game. Which is, funny enough, I've played plenty of tie-in video games. Madagascar the video game is not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh no, Mario. Yeah, ooh, bad position. He's gonna throw me off the mountain. No. No, no, no. Ooh, okay. Okay. And... We go. Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bomb arm king? I should have picked a better voice for this guy. You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take on King Bowser by trial. Methinks me troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. He literally said, okay, fine, you beat me. If you want to see me again, choose the level again. See ya, kid. Kaboom. I'm a winner. Koopa the Quick. How's it going, man? Hey, Mario. Is it true that you beat the Big bomb bomb Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how, how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me. Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the Big bomb bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Go. All right, let's kick some turtle ass. Oh, chain shop, no! No, 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 Mario, no ground pound. I think if I'm remembering right, that is kind of the biggest control issue I have with this version of Mario 64 is just so frequently I do remember doing ground pounds instead of long jumps. That was a really big annoyance back in late September, early October when I played this last year. I still won here, but I just got like a flashback to my annoyance back then half a year ago. Time for Mario to crawl around like a baby. Where the hell is Koopa the Quick? Dude, you're slow. You're Koopa the Slug. 
There he is. Took you long enough, man. Oh, oh, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. Thank you. I'll be taking the gold star for today. Okay, can I open up the cannon jet? We're peace leaving. Uh, we're peace leaving. They have foregone peace. <laughs> they only know war. We're peace loving bomb bombs, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll all put, we'll all prepare the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. They're gonna let Mario blow himself up. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Okay, thanks, dude. I hope the audio for this game isn't too loud. I always say that every time I start a new game. But it's just a panic. It's always just a uh, paranoia. I'm pretty sure everybody who does anything like this has about capturing video games is I hope the audio is correct because I'm I, this is on the switch so I've left it at my switch settings and I haven't done any testing on it so if you're hearing and watching this then it passed the requirements to be approved for well self-approved for YouTube hurrah Uh, da, 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 da. How do I get the other coin? I think I... There's the coin one for the red coins, and then there's one for getting a ton of coins. Like, normal coins. I'm still gonna need to get the red coins to get that one. I think I'm just gonna do that one now. That one's like the annoying one of this whole course. Oh, nice, Mario. Okay, bomb bombs. These blow up and give me coins. Get back here. There we go. I need every single coin I can find. I think I need to get a hundred. I think it's a hundred. Camera, Lakitu, please. What happened to the other coin? Whatever. I don't believe the bombs respawn with coins again. I think they're a one-time thing. Get over here, Goomba. Oh, come on, dude. Thank you. Not today. I still don't fully understand what those are. Are they supposed to be like water droplets or something? They're like big gooey slime things that fall out of the sky, yet they're very watery looking. That Goomba is going fast. That almost hit me. <laughs> 
face first into the stairs. Alright, let's deal with the bomb bombs out here and try not to get killed by these water droplet things. Or hit by them at all. That would be, that'd be nice. That would be very nice if I didn't get hit by any. I don't think that's gonna happen! And yep, here it goes. I jinxed myself. I jinxed myself. I've been hit with three so far. Just swooshed around that one somehow. Okay, I've got 33 coins so far. I hope it's not 100. I think it is 100, though. Can I line this up right and do this stupid backwards jump here? I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to give it a shot. No, nope, it's not going to work, I don't think. You need to do it, like, backwards or something. I know that. But it's not a backwards long jump, either. Oh well, let's climb the mountain. Actually, I'm not gonna be able to do this course, I don't think. Like this... ...specific star. Because I need the wing cap. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Okay, here we go, here we go, this is it, this is it, this is... It. This is what I was trying to do earlier. Okay, let's get back up here. Because I need to fly through the sky. I'm going to have to shoot myself out of that cannon multiple times to do that, aren't I? I'm now belly flopping down. Lovely. Ooh, okay. That is what I'm talking about. That is the first time that has happened so far. While playing this again. Somehow dodge that. Oh, come on, Mario. Come on, man. Now get up there. No, 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 no. You wall jump in this. You're wall jumping it. Ah, oh, fine. Have it your way, man. Have it the tough road up dodging all these metal balls. Okay, so I got the one that was there. Yeah, so now I need to get onto the island. Okay, there's that one. That's the one that I can get now if I don't want to fully go through with the coin one. I don't know if pressing these down does anything. Yeah. 
It does not seem to. <laughs> that was pointless. Okay, these have stuff. Coins, please. Ah, did the other one get away? I think it did. There's another box towards the beginning. Yeah, this is not an easy start again. This is an annoying one. This is the one everyone tends to hate to do here. Because it's just so... You have to min-max your coins. So much here. Come on, box. Really? Doesn't want to blow up, huh? There it goes. And they scatter. Where'd it go? I still heard him. Ah, oh, that sucks. Is there anything up this tree? Nope. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the cannon a few times. If it fails... Oh, there's, there's some under the bridge. That's useful. Yeah, if, if for some reason I'm not able to get the amount of coins I need for this, then I can always just grab the... Red coin star. I'm gonna get rid of the chain chomp. If I can. He's gonna try and attack me. There we go. I just want it out of the way so I don't have to deal with it anymore if I fall down here. Okay, time to get back on the island. If I can from here, this is a very unorthodox shot. Here we go. No, too high. Here we go. Yeah, it's gonna take multiple times and it's gonna be really annoying, but I'm gonna do this without the wing cap. I'm purely doing this now out of nothing but stubbornness. <laughs> so, since this is just what I'm doing for the next few minutes, uh, I can talk about random things. I went to the woods today, took some photos, did some Polaroids, and did some uh, digital. Didn't bring my 35 mil with me, though. Decided not to, for no specific reason. I got one coin that time. And, uh, I think the Polaroids honestly turned out the best compared to the digital stuff. I don't know. I've been on a little bit of a Polaroid kick lately. I even made a Polaroid video that I have no idea if it'll ever see the light of day, because it... I finished rendering it today, and I like it, but at the same time... I don't know if I'm ever gonna put it up, just because it's, like, it's... it's informational. It's, uh... It explains a lot of the basics of... Polaroids and a little bit of the history and such, but it's not really something I do on my channel, so it's just like an eh, eh. Maybe someday, maybe someday it'll pop up. I have no idea. I got one coin again. Wow. 
one coin at a time. That is how you gain your money. And when you gain your money like that, you'll buy a brand new hat. Yeah, spring came early this year. I'm noticing, comparing it to my photos from last year of the same areas that I've been going to... Well, revisiting some of these same areas. These different wood patches and such. Yeah, this year kind of... I want to say spring came early here by about three weeks because... A lot of the foliage that is currently now how it's grown wasn't until it like in comparison to how the trees and all the bushes and sub plants on the forest floor and such have grown a lot of that is similar to what had finally grown and i want to say the first week of june at this point and we're in mid-may right now all, well kind of mid-may early mid-may and where th I noticed I noticed that pretty early on when the plants started budding it seemed pretty early like in mid April and it wasn't none of the trees were really budding till about the first week of May last year around here so I knew something was a little weird there's the star okay so it was just 80 I guess are we gonna fly right into it oh that would have been so good that would have been so fucking funny if I flew right into the star I was just just like a foot off from the distance. That was close. All right, let's get the red coin, and then we're done with Bomb on Battlefield. We will never have to come back here again. Yeah, I don't know. I, I went to the woods today. I saw nature. I enjoy nature quite a bit. I take pictures of nature and uh, do weird experimentation stuff with uh, formats of photography to get weird effects and other things and such. And uh, yeah, I don't tend to talk about it a whole lot, but yeah, today was a productive day. It was fun. It was interesting. So we got a red coin up over here. Ooh, okay, I almost barely got hit by that one. So where are the last two? That is the second time the ground pound has happened. Instead of a jump. Yeah, the few games that I have been actually itching to play lately have been Red Dead Redemption 2, as I said earlier. There's a red coin over there. Pokemon Stadium. Either one of them, really. Pokemon Stadium 1 or 2. Either one's an option. I would probably do Stadium 1. Mario. Mario. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. That's a no good. Mr. Miyamoto cries. He cries at the knowledge of his son's failure at his day job of saving the Mushroom Kingdom. There we go. Got in. I was thinking it was going to slide off the mountain for a second there. So where's the last one? Is it over here? No? I 
Oh, is it down here by the gate? Bomb on, please. It is. I find it funny how I'm playing this right now, and yet everybody I know personally is playing Resident Evil 8. <laughs> I'm not big on the Resident Evil games. I've played four... What what Resident Evil games have I played? I've played through four. I've played a little bit of seven. I didn't finish seven. I thought it was good. Yeah, I'm just not a big Resident Evil guy. I've seen through other people play through most of the series. Virtually the entire series, I think, ex except for those... Uh, Games on the Wii? Origins or something? Resident Evil Origins, I think they may have been called. But yeah, I know the general premise. I know Wesker and the main characters, Leon, Chris, Jill, Nemesis, all, all, all the guys. Mr. Thick from Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Mr. Thanos. Aw, oh, man, I wasn't supposed to go back in there. Okay. All right, so we're done with Bomb on Battlefield. But yeah, I've never been like I I respect and appreciate the Resident Evil series. I've just I'm not a I'm not the biggest guy for horror games in the first place, but uh, they're good. They're good games. They're just not exactly my kind of games. I prefer the, uh, ye ye ha ha yippoo wahoo man here. Just running around stomping on mushrooms. <laughs> okay, does the owl show up in this version? I think that requires some other prerequisite, if that's even in this version. I know you can get an owl that, like, appears and takes you somewhere here. I forget which, if that's in this version of the game, or if it's only in another version, or if it just requires a requirement. Almost stuck the landing on that. Oh, come on. Come on! <laughs> I've never seen that animation before. Mario getting kind of squished by that. Hey, King Thwomp. Well, Thwomp. It makes me so, so mad. We build your houses, your castles. We pave the roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. <laughs> all right, Womp King, let's kick your ass. Come on. Oh, he got me there. I was going to try and jump through him. There we go. Got him again.
Does this do anything? I know one of these flower patches does something. Maybe it's one of these? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe I'm misremembering? I think I'm misremembering. Whatever. Come on, Mario. You can run on surfaces. Come on! He cannot. Gravity wants his wallet. It's gonna shank him in the night. It's gonna wake him up. Gravity's gonna bitch slap this guy, wake him up in the night, have a knife to his neck, and threaten to take his wallet unless he stops what he's trying to do right now, walking up slopes. Mario, with his magical super jumps, defies gravity, and gravity has had enough. He has had enough of this Italian man pretending this is the moon. Got there in time. Okay, do I want to do that yet? Not really, that's for the red coins. I want to get to the top of the tower first. Alright, so now we got the cannons here. Sorry if I'm not talking too much now. I'm trying to focus on the gameplay. <laughs> so what do we got? There's a star in there. It's a little finicky to get. Does this have gyro control? It does not. I think you can set it up to where you do have gyro control, if I'm remembering right of what I did last time. I just missed that. I'm so glad I did not fall off the stage. Is that actually a setting here? Doesn't seem I can change it. Oh, yeah. You can. I'm not gonna bother at the moment. It's. It, I don't feel... Ooh... Heart stop moment. Okay. I thought I jumped, it just unintentionally jumped off the level. Need to focus. Keep composure and focus on the goal. There we go. Alright, so now we're going for the red coins. I don't have all the places, all the locations memorized for these, unlike the first level. It's 
so this is probably going to be trial and error. But we'll, we'll see how I do on that. Oh no, no. Ooh, I should be dead from that. I think one of them is below this, one of these. As stupid as that sounds, I feel like that's the case. No, I don't see one. There wasn't one on the first one, I know that. Yeah, there's none below these. I'm not even going to risk that. Like, going down there manually to check. Mario, get down. Okay, so we got a few up here. I know that there's two up towards the top. Okay, so that's five. There's, a, there's actually one above the thwomp, huh? I saw that over there. There's a few over here. It's not letting me kick. Come on. Come on, Mario. There we go. I was hitting the wrong button. Yeah, there's two over here. There's one above the thwomp. Oh boy. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just put one step in front of the other, and soon Mario will be falling off the world. There we go. Now we just have to get over to it and not die. Okay, can we do that? Is that possible? It seems so. That was a little stressful. Also, I have no intention to like 100 100% beat this game. I've only beaten Mario... I've only actually, like, gotten to the end of Mario 64 maybe once? Yeah, I beat this game once on the N64... I think 10 years ago. It was like 9 or 10 years ago. I never beat it on the Virtual Console. Yeah, I did it on N64. And I don't remember how many stars are required to get the ending for the game. I'll probably look that up after I'm done with this here today, because I literally just saw the game. I was like, you know, let's do Mario. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's play Mario 64 through this in like good old times, and that's what I'm doing here today. But I do intend to beat the game, but not 100% it, if that's a thing. I don't know if you have to get all this. That's the thing. I don't know if you have to get all the stars or not. If you do, then oh boy. Here we go. 
Because once you get to like Rainbow Cruise and such and Tick Tock Clock, that stuff gets a little grating. Specifically Rainbow Cruise. Rainbow Cruise can Oh, it can go it can go to bed. It can go away. Okay, so we just have the cage left. I've been neglecting that one. Mario, Mario, Mario! Mario! It's Mario! It's Super Mario 64 on Nintendo 64. Get in or get out. Play it loud. Game Boy Color. I don't know. Old marketing slogans. Old marketing slogans I vaguely remember growing up with. I remember the... I do remember... GameCube game, uh, GBA era marketing a lot more than N64. Like, it was around, but once again, because I was a PC kid, I didn't really get exposed to a whole lot of this stuff. My parents didn't want me playing the nasty Marios and the rude Sonics. Oh, come on, Mario, please! Okay, can I use the cannon? That's a very risky move. Well, actually, can I shoot the cannon from here and get into the cage? I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, I can, but that's gonna be risky. I might actually hit that ledge over there on the left side. Yep, I, I thought that hitbox was pretty big for that thing. Okay, that's out of the way now, though. I'm trying to work out the parabola from Mario's normal weight and the gravity applied to him in the game's engine on how I gotta shoot this. I'm gonna try this. I'm just kind of semi-winging it, semi-not. I was close! I need to do it a little less than that, but at the same time I don't exactly know what I just did there anyway. So let me work out the parabola again. Alright, let's see. I think that was the exact same thing I did last time. No! Nice! Swooshed right in there like Shaggy. As smooth, as smooth as whipped cream or butter. I don't think there's anything lelf, uh, wow, well, lelf, less. Can I speak? Left. I was combining left and less in the same word. Lest. No, there's nothing here. No, I don't want that. I want to exit the level. Which I guess I'm gonna have to die for. Alright, so... Yeah, first two levels are done. And at this point, I think I'm gonna just start randomly going to different levels and doing whatever I want. Can I get this? So last time I played this, I got a glitch here up in this door. I show, I've i showed this before. This was back in September, I think. But I, got, I jumped up into this corner trying to look for stuff, and I got a fun little warp speed glitch of Mario. <laughs> here we go. There he goes! And we have liftoff. Alright, I'm gonna try doing that again, actually. Let's try live. No, I actually just, uh, did the thing. Got a one-up. I'm gonna try one more time. We're gonna try, we're gonna try it three times. If it doesn't work, then we just move on to the level. I don't want to waste time on this. No, that worked. 
Can I maybe just... No, I can't really walk into it. Yeah, even here, I'm kind of nudged into the wall a bit, and it doesn't work. All right, yeah. What's in the other one over here? I love how wall. I love how Mario just runs smack into a wall, and just doesn't give a crap. He just takes the full blunt force of that. That is ridiculous. Anything? Secret level? Oh, it's this one. Okay, yeah, the red coins underwater one. The one that had the... No, I'm thinking of Mario Sunshine and... That underwater level where there's the book that was unused for a level. Well, for a stage. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing this in Mar uh, Pokemon Snap for a little bit. I don't know how long this or that are going to take, because one's a new game, and this game I haven't beaten in a long time, and don't really know how long it'll take me. And uh, I'll be taking a little bit of a break from The Witcher 3. I plan on continuing it sometime in the year, but I'm just trying to have some fun with other games right now, since I've spent the f literally almost half the first half of this year playing Witcher 3. Almost exclusively, aside from a few random things every now and then. And don't get me wrong, I could play Witcher 3 all day. I could give a lecture, I could give a thesis about the Witcher world. But I don't want to burn myself out. Because we still got Gontaro Dim to go see, we still got the Von Evericks to go see, we still got Regis, ML Regis, one of my favorite characters. Not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to when we see Regis. He's a really, I really like his character. Him and Zoltan, him and Zoltan are both fantastic. Now, I know I can't do the red coins yet. That is something I believe I need the wing cap for. It's either the wing cap or Metal Mario. And for this one, I believe I just have to wait for this guy to get out of there or something. I need to breathe, give me some coins. I never, have, I've never fully understood that with Mario, how these coins, like some games, like Mario Galaxy, they put an air bubble around the coins for, say, Be uh, Beach Bowl Galaxy and such, but the coins here are just coins, like, does Mario, are these coins rations of pure oxygen? How does that work? Also, how does this work? How do I get in here? I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna bail on this and go to this other star up here. Come on, Mario. We can survive. There we go. That was close. <laughs> Just like that was close. I love how these stones, these pillars, auto-lock onto Mario and try to crush him. Come on. Okay, that's wrong. I forget the pattern for these. No. Okay, is it this one? No. I need those coins over there. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. 
Critical. Yeah, I don't remember how to get into the sunken ship. I know you need to get the eel out of there somehow. I don't remember how to, though. Can I do the one up over here, maybe? No, that's later. What the heck do I do for this one? Is there something down here below the ship that allows me to do anything? It's a red coin. How do I get him out of there? Oh, okay. I don't know exactly what prompted him to get out of it. The there. Demons. N64 demons. They just teleported me way below the map. Okay. Y'all saw that too. So that was that was uh, interesting. Okay. Never seen that before in Mario 64. I like I was trying to do a glitch right before this level. And I ended up doing one anyway. Okay, that is not it. How do I, uh, I'm gonna drown here. Is there any coins in here? No. Oh, there's one. Okay, get to the surface. I'm gonna drown. Mario. Mario. Shit. <laughs> I was so close. I was so close. Uh. I saw the surface of the water, didn't swim fast enough to it, Mario. Uh, whatever. Alright. I'm gonna try... So what prompts this guy to get out of here? Is it just something swimming towards the surface, maybe? Is that it? I can't see below me, really. No? I'm just gonna go to the surface again like I did last time. Why is it teleporting me below the ship? That's the second time that's happened now. Okay, let's go down. Eel's still there. Maybe it just takes a few moments for it to get out of there? Excuse me, Nintendo. Could you, uh... Stop it! Miyamoto? Stop this! Stop, stop, stop sticking your fingers in my game! And making me teleport below the water! Stop trying to drown Mario! Jeez. Okay, is the eel out now? It is not. Yeah, I don't know what prerequisite it needs to get out of there. It obviously needs something. Because it's not moving, it's staying in there. I don't get it. I'm gonna go just swim over here. I'm just gonna swim. I'm gonna just wander around the area. And see if anything happens later. 
that happen. This is a fantastic song, though. What would be a mildly annoying level is fixed from the music here. He's still in there. Why? Do I have to circle the boat underwater or something? What is the dealio? Do you want me to collect coins here? I'm doing everything I can to appease you, eel overlord. What is your desire, my eely master? I don't know what you desire. You cannot speak. You do not know the human tongue. But what you do know is wisdom. And wisdom is what you are hoarding in there. And I want it. I want the secrets to Castle Grayskull. You're an accomplice to He-Man, and I don't appreciate that. I'll sick Merman after you, and then you won't find the depth so pleasing. You'll wish you've evolved legs and grown to walk on the land. And eat berries and puppies and whatever else your eely delights desire. Yeah. I'm gonna push big button. Big button was pointless. My patience is wearing thin. Okay, is the eel out of the boat yet? It is, thank you! You shall be spared from my New World Order of Skeletor's army! Once we have seized the secrets of Castle Grayskull, you shall be a captain, no. You shall be a colonel! And lead the Aqua Forces of our Undersea Empire. That is not a good move. Okay, we must leave Skeletor behind and focus on the puzzle. Okay, that was good. There we go. No, no. Well, I tried to cheese it. <laughs> now, Mario. Mario. Please, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. Proper etiquette. Okay, can I get up here? Can I get up here? Come on, Mario, the camera. Camera keeps turning whenever I move Mario. Okay, here we go. There we go. Yeah, camera's being a little finicky there. I like how the first star for this area is the most... Uh, kind of annoying. Can I do one more here, maybe? I should be able to do this one. Oh yeah, the boat's up uh, floating again now. Cool. That is one of the last... I think that is the last star for this area. I need to lure this guy out here. Okay. Hey, man. How's it going? 
There he goes. There it is. I need to grab that. Before I die. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Grab it. I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I drown. I got greedy. I'll admit I got greedy there. Yeesh. You think that'd be easier, but it's not. The eel moves a little, just a tad bit faster than you. I need to pay attention to the oxygen. Okay, shut up and focus time. You need your fa- uh, <laughs> You need your fax machine, Maxie. You need your focus, Maxie. Okay, okay. Go between the mouth. Here we go. Can't see shit. Wow, that- Oh, I was wondering why he di it didn't hurt him initially. I'm still gonna die now because of that, though. Like, I'm not even going to be able to get the red coin down there. This isn't even that hard of a star to get. And yeah, compared to the other Mario games, like Mario Mario Odyssey, I haven't played since it first came out. It's been almost four years now since I played Mario Odyssey. Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm gonna die again now because of that. Unless I grab the star right here. No, even if I touch the seal, the the eel's body, it hurts me. Okay. Yeah, that's a little more brutal than I remember. But in regards to the other Mario, th other 3D Mario games like this, I like Sun. This this is my tier list of sorts. I don't I don't really for this kind of stuff. I don't exactly have like a best like a n numerical sorting of it. But it's more how I how I feel at the moment kind of thing. Mario Sunshine, objectively, I would say, is my favorite. It was my first Mario game, and I still enjoy the controls, the story, the levels are phenomenal. I love the aesthetics of the game. And visually, personally, I think it holds up very well. And uh, the music's fantastic as well. Okay, get away from that thing before it touches me. Mario 64 is more of a comfy game for me. This is more of a game that I would love to... One hit death. I would love to play on, say, like a rainy day. Uh, it's just a feel-good game for me. This, this game is a very feel-good game for me. It's very much like Sonic R in a weird way in that it's a game I could kind of pick up and play whenever and just have a fun, stupid time with it. Kind of the same way of Breath of the Wild nowadays as well. That's a game like that. Witcher 3, as much as that is my favorite game, that is a little bit more of a I'm focused kind of gameplay mindset. It, 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 I'm much more... When I'm playing that, I'm thinking about the lore, I'm thinking about the characters. It's fantastic. But it's not just like a pick up and play. Like, it is a pick up and play for me because I can play it whenever. But, uh... It's not a comfy game like this. I'm trying to time this. Okay, I'm gonna go up and get some air. I'd say Sonic and both. I'd say both Sonic Adventures also fit this criteria of it being more of a comfy game for me. 
Like, I have fun playing those. Oh, does he go back in there? He does. That is kind of garbage. Okay, stay away. Don't touch him, Mario. This thing's got a hitbox. As evil as the devil. Got it. Now can I survive long enough to actually get the star? Mario, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, both Sonic Adventures, I would say, are in the same vein of this game and Sonic R, Breath of the Wild. What's another game? Let me list off one more game. What's, a, what's one more game that I could just pick up on a rainy day, no matter my mindset, and just have fun with it? Looking around my room now. <laughs> like, what? what is the... Star Fox 64. That, that's an easy one, yeah. Star Fox 64 I could pick up at any time, play the crap out of it, and have fun. Okay, I accidentally chose this level again. What's a more recent one now? Now I'm just thinking about, like, video games. Ocarina of Time is a game that I can start. Like, I'll play... I can play Ocarina of Time. Not so much Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is something I want to be focused going into and throughout. Ocarina of Time is something I will just pick up and play an amount of it and then set it down and never touch again and have had a fun time with it. I've only been Ocarina of Time once, and it's a great game, but it's a game I rarely finish. Same as Mario 64. It's a game I pick up and play all the time, but I never finish. Okay, let's get the wing cap. Can I... How do you use the camera with this controller? Because it's like, allowing me to orient it. How do I... I'm trying to use the... Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's weird. It's not the camera stick. It's the analog stick for movement, does it? Now, if it'll register me using it now... Now it doesn't want to register me using it. What's going on, game? Thank you. Finally. It's having a conniption there. Welcome to the Wing Caps course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks will, you will find will become solid. Try out the wing cab. Do a triple jump and take off and... Do a triple jump to take off and press ZL to land. Pull back on left stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Time to get all the red coins. This is a fun stage. miss those. It's fun until you miss stuff. Like that. I missed one of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, Mario. You can do it. Psst, 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 psst. Oh no! Lovely. Okay, let's try that again. Just fall to my death in the wing cap stage. I missed the two coins. This is a bad omen. Okay. 
There we go. Let's go again. Okay. Grab the star. Here we go. I just realized I didn't hit the big switch. So, uh... Here we go again. I don't think I need to beat the level now. I think I just have to hit the switch. That was a weird way to hit it, but sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good. Let's get out of here. Alright. So now the wing caps are unlocked in this area. Well, in the game. Okay, so we got the ice stage. I'm going to start unlocking various levels now, just to open up the game world. We'll do the slide. We'll do the slide here. I can do this. I just gotta survive. Gotta survive the slide. I'm gonna guess 21 3. 21-3. Uh, just 21. Very, very weird to get just a single number. Okay. I'm fine with that. Alright, yeah, that's that. Can I do a boss yet? I can. I'm not going to do it right now. Here's the piano. Yeah, it's still kind of scary. There's a red coin behind it. I don't need that. Can I not get in here? I guess not. Oh wait, there's a there's a boo. Yeah, 
yeah, I gotta kick all the booze butts. That's that's what I gotta do here. <clears throat> okay, there's one in here. Oh, come on. There we go. Ghosts don't die. Maybe they do. Maybe I can create a new way for ghosts to actually die. What do you think about that, Mr. Boo? Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. Oh, you're right there. Hmm. I feel like you're gonna push me off here. There we go. Okay, there should be another somewhere. Maybe it's in the back? There's also the other building. There was one back here. Oh, did it leave through the wall? Yes, it did. Okay, so the Boom Master should have appeared now. He can't leave through here. He should be in the foyer. There you are. Come here, you big lug. I <laughs> love how it makes womp noises. I've only been playing this for just a little bit under an hour and a half. Wow. I've made a lot of progress in that time. <laughs> this level's done. Can't really do a whole lot more to the water level to my knowledge. Let's go to the ice cap. Do a few here. And then hit up Bowser for the first time. So yeah, speaking of Witcher earlier, I've still been just reading the, the fourth Witcher book. Which is the second to last book in the main series. And then there's three other extra books of content. Uh, that are prequel books. That I could read. I probably will. At the start, I kind of intended just to read the main story campaign of uh, Geralt and his Hansa, his little fellowship. But I think I'm going to dip into the prequel stuff as well, which, as it turns out, I I've looked up very... I know very little to nothing about the Witcher Netflix series. I know it's a thing. I know Henry Cavill from Man of Steel is Geralt, and he doesn't... He, he apparently plays Geralt adequately. He doesn't really look like Geralt a whole lot to me. He looks a little too... Like... Dull shampoo, suave skincare kind of Geralt. He looks a little too... He doesn't look... Like a, he doesn't look like a warrior. He looks just kind of like male model Geralt. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, apparently that TV series takes place dirt. Like, it's the first season one does stuff from, like, The Last Wish and such, the prequel book stuff. So I find that a little interesting. It makes sense to start out 
the ser this series that they're trying to do with the earliest stuff going forward. I'm just curious how, if they get to that point, if, like, they actually continue the series, because they're starting season two apparently soon. Or at least starting filming it. I, I think they're... I don't know if they're done filming it or not yet. I know it's a thing. But uh, I'm curious what that's going to take place with, how they're going to handle the characters... I'm really curious if, that's the thing is, I'm really curious if they actually get to, like, the mainline book series, how they're gonna handle Zoltan and Kahir, especially Regis, Milva. It's gonna be a very interesting thing to see how they handle those characters, because they're very... CD Projekt Red got, aside from Kahir, they got them down, well, and Milva, because, because, spoilers, they're dead. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, they got Regis and Zoltan and Dandelion, and especially Geralt. They nailed Geralt's character so well, I'm surprised. I don't know how well a television series is going to be able to replicate these very specifically crafted characters. Like, CD Projekt Red was really... As shit as they've been lately with the uh, cyberpunk stuff, they they really were... Because most of the developers for the Witcher series don't work at CD Projekt anymore at this point. <laughs> it's kind of a rareware situation where most of the Rare staff that made Banjo-Kazooie and Conquer and such, they don't work at Rare anymore. Uh, that's, that's the same thing already with, like, Witcher 3 and such. But uh, it, it's surprising how much of a connection that they had with Sepkowski making the Witcher games and such. Like, yeah, Sapkowski later sued them because he's like, hey, they paid me an upfront, I want royalties now, so that I can get more money from them making money off my series. Which, to me, I'm just like, Sapkowski, you should have done that in the first place. Don't be dumb. <laughs> I know you didn't expect the series to take off or anything, but seriously, man. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I, I, they, they had a real bond. Now I'm just rambling about Witcher stuff as I try to figure out what to do in this level. But uh, they had a real, at least some sort of, they, they talked a lot, at least. They understood the series, both of them. And I think that helped CD Projekt under, better understand how to depict the characters and such. To the point where Sepkowski, uh, to, he, he admitted to them, I don't think he's ever really publicly admitted. It was admitted in the bonus DVD for the first Witcher game that Geralt does survive at the end of the books. He doesn't actually die like people have always do think he does in the books. He doesn't die. Sokowski himself has admitted that that's not the case. So the only thing that is keeping him from saying that the video games are canon because they take place with Geralt surviving and leaving Avalon and going on the adventure to rescue Yennefer and Ciri again. The only thing that's keeping the games from being canon to the books... Because I like to view the games as canon. They're not canon, but I like to view them. It's like viewing, uh, it's like Star Wars fans viewing, like, the comic books or the novels as being canon when they're kinda not. It's the extended universe stuff. Anyway. The only thing holding it back is Sapkowski. He He's just... stubborn to the point where he's like, I didn't write the games so they're not canon. That, that's the whole thing. That's the whole reason why The Witcher 3, Witcher 2, and the, the first game are not canon with the books. Is just Sepkowski being like, well, these are really well done. I've helped put input and create these games alongside the developers. But because I didn't actually write them, and they're not my specific works, I'm going to say that they're not canon. Which is fine. That is absolutely fine and in, totally in his right to be able to do that and everything. I just find it so middling, middlingly annoying that he's that stubborn. It's like, come on, man. You know how good these are. These games have pretty much made your series, your book series, known among the everyone else in the world. Cut them some slack. Just say the books, uh, the games are canon, and uh, you'll get it. You'll probably doing that alone will get you a lot more money in book sales, because now the people who only want to play the games will be interested in play uh, reading the books. But no, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna do the slide. So 
saved, maybe? Yeah, oh no, I, I attempted to save it. It didn't work out so well. I could do the baby penguin up there, but I want to do the slide. I'm not going to take the shortcut, although I probably should. I'm going to try and do this legit. Did it legit, okay. Oh, that last stretch. It's always a little nerve wracking. Come on, penguin. Oh boy, I knew that was gonna happen. Ah, oh, this penguin. Get over here. Let's take it to your mom. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop climbing the mountain. Do not climb the mountain horizontally. Come on. Come on, get over here. Thank you. Where is it? I dropped it. Get down here. No, no. Stop going up there. Come on, come down here. Psst, 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 psst. Whisper to it like a cat. Come on. Who's a good penguin? Who's a good penguin? Get over here. I got a treat. I got a treat. Get over here, penguin. I got a fish. There you go. I tricked it. I'm going to grab that coin just so I can have some health. No! Ooh, I thought I was going to fall down there for a millisecond. Okay, okay, come on, penguin, let's get you to your mama. You found my precious, precious baby. Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, oh do have this. I have, oh, I do have this star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You thought I was gonna do it, didn't you? You've been played! I'm not that evil. Oh boy, the penguin race. I don't enjoy this one. This one is actually kind of difficult and annoying. This is this is probably what I would say is the... Aside from the coin one in the first level, in the first world, I'd say this is probably the next annoying level in the game. Because outracing this guy is a pain in the butt. Because you can't use the shortcut... Oh god, I'm going backwards. I failed. Mamma mia. This one might result in the first game over of the game. It probably will. Because I'm low on lives. 
And there's no way in heck I'm beating this in the next two times. Hopefully I reverse jinxed myself on that one. Because I'm not being ironic. This is not a good... Not a nice, sweet and easy course. Oh god, it's even worse going backwards! can I do here to be a little more proactive? Can I jump? Yeah, there we go. Get a little bit more up to the racing line with it, although I don't think that's going to account for a whole lot of improvement. Let's give it a go. Okay, here we go. This camera angle is horrible. I can't see shit. Yeah! Yeah. Last life. Oh, boy. Here we go. This ain't gonna end well. I'm just gonna try running into it instead of diving. I think... I think this, I think butt sliding down gives you a little bit of a better control of Mario compared to sliding. And once again, I can't do the shortcut. It is not going to let me win if I use the shortcut. Well, that's game over. Game over. All right, time for me to shut up and focus. All right, time for me to shut up and focus. You need your... I, 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 I love that line from Goofy. From, uh... I think it was Goofy Movie 2? No, it was Goofy Movie. It was the first one. But yeah, if I, if I, want, if I say that every time I think of it in my head... It's going to be the only thing I say the rest of this gameplay. Mm, Mario. Mamma mia. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this level. I'm not. I do not like it, Mr. Aonuma. I do not like it. I know Aonuma had nothing to do with this game. I was just trying to think of some other M Nintendo developer aside from Miyamoto. Because M Miyamoto is easy to blame for this because he worked on this game. <laughs> I do not like this, Mr. Tezuka. I don't know if he... I don't know if Takeshi Tezuka worked on this game, actually. Okay, now I gotta wait for the penguin to get up. I actually beat it, though. You broke my record. Unbelievable. Bad ice pun. I knew that you were the coolest 
Oh, someone get me an icy slushy right now to cool out with this cool penguin. I need some sunglasses and ice slushy. And God, I don't know. Send me to Hawaii. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you with a gold medal, but here, take this star instead. You've earned it. Thanks, penguin. I don't look forward to the next time I have to race you. Here we go. Well, that was annoying, but it's done. Can I do another level here, maybe? I don't know if I can do the red coins. Yeah, red coins is next. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll give this a shot. There's one. There's one up here, is there not? No, this is a teleportation. Yeah, it takes me to one. This is the part that sucks. Jumping over to this little island to activate the cannons here. Okay, okay, we good? I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you, bomb -omb. Now I gotta wait for it to come back. And hopefully make the right timing on the jump. That's good. That's very good. I'm gonna shoot Mario over there and hopefully he sticks the landing. I hope he does. Here we go. <laughs> this is nerve wracking. Higher. Just enough. Just enough to slide in there. Come to Mario. Come over to Mario. I'm not gonna go over there and touch you, but... If you come over here, I can punch you in the face, and then... We can get on with our lives. Okay, I was forgetting the control scheme for a second there, out of stress. Stuck the landing. How do you wall jump in this game again? I'm glad they, they were smart to put a heart there. You have to do it like right at the instance you make contact. Oh, I was trying to backwards jump. The, the developers knew they had to put a heart there or else people would go insane. It's gotta be one of these. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. What am I dealing with? There are spikes up there. Oh no, that's just frost. Oh, come on, Mario! I'm trying to do a sideways jump right there, and it just makes him fall. Ah, uh, please! Please! Just do what I want. It's not letting me do what I want. Yeah, it just doesn't want me to do a wall jump there. Like, I get that it's slightly curved there a bit, but... How else am I supposed to get up here? Uh, e Mario, stop moving forward when I stop walking. This isn't Mario 1. Don't do that. Crawl like a baby into position. And then... Do a backwards jump. Uh, 
Like that. Why, Mario? Why'd you fall off the edge? Please. Please. It displeases me that you're being like this, Mario. Oh, come on. Do I have to do it off the back wall? Do I have to do it off the back wall? Really? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, progress. Progress. There's a star. I'm not doing the red star today. Well, not this time. I'm gonna get to the star if it kills Mario. Okay, and at least I now know that there's no red coins actually over there. That That's very useful info for me. I don't have to deal with that cannon nonsense over there now. Now I just gotta make sure Mario doesn't fall off the level. As he is very prone to do here. Okay, we've got half of them. Okay, one of them is annoying, I know that. This is its own star. Which I think I'll do after this. Mario, 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 Mario. I don't know how he survived that, but oh my god, yes. Keep going. We're still going. Okay, let's get back up to the top. He should be dead. Mario should have died from that. Okay, so we need to get down there. There. Two more. I'm gonna try something real stupid. It worked. There's a red coin over there. So where's the last one? Is it back up at the top? I think it is. I think the last one's up towards the top. Because that is where you get the star for it. So I'm gonna have to fall back down. Okay, we're good, we're good. Scare. Fear. Fear of falling off the level is embedded in my blood. The terror of the unknown of falling off the level when you're so close. So close. Okay, is it not here? I thought it was here. Oh boy. Where the crap is it? Is it on top of the mountain? This is not good. This is not good. I don't know where this last one is. Mario, Mario, don't do stupid things now, Mario. Okay, we're gonna slide down this thing and uh, hope for the best. Hope for the best. Okay, we didn't die. We didn't die, although I still don't see where that coin is. Mario, 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 Mario. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. Thank you for not dying. I'll take you to Subway later. Get you a cheese sandwich. You'll get a cookie with it, too. If you just let me get this red coin. Please, Mario. Mm. 
Mario, 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 Mario. That was a long fall. Yeah, I don't care about your baby, miss. I already saved it last time. How many times am I going to have to fall off this mountain and get back to the top? I need to restore some health now, too. <laughs> this is not going well. No! Well, it's not the worst case scenario. It's the worst case scenario. Can I, uh, just skip you? Oh, man. Run's dead. Red coin run is dead. I'm going to take the cheat way so this penguin doesn't murder me. And I don't care because I've already got the star. So this is completely null anyway. Okay, let's leave. Wait, what's over there in the corner? There's nothing there, okay. Okay, once again, let's try just sliding down the mountain. Is that so hard to do? I guess it is. Because getting sidetracked into various areas, nearly falling off the whole map, and getting caught into a penguin race. It's like, geez. Give a guy a break. Mario, such bad luck. Okay, here we go. Is there anything here? That's the... <sighs> Why? Why? Oh, man. Come on. Come on, man. That was some bullshit. <laughs> We're going to be here all day, aren't we? So that even weirds me out even... That weirds me out even more. Just like, where is this coin then? Because it's not on that path. It's not in the area where you can... There it is! Okay, now where I know where they all are. Lovely. Speaking through my teeth. This is not fun. This is not fun anymore, He-Man. I no longer desire to be in this frozen wonderland of joy and happiness. Why is that, Skeletor? Because it annoys me so. Every day is Christmas. And you remember our Christmas special, don't you, He-Man? I had to be nice! To children! Okay, six, where's seven and eight? There is seven, eight... I don't remember where the eighth one is. Is it back up at the top again? I think it is. Mmm. 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 Mario, please. Have some decorum. I need to get off this. 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 Let me off. Let me jump over this rail. So much. The game doesn't want me to. You can see. Uh, okay, finally. Thank you. Game did not want me to jump off of that. Okay, so we're over here. It's that one over there. I just realized, yeah. 
So, this is going to be interesting. Going to take some damage. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Keep running. Just keep running, Mario. Hide from your demons. Keep them locked inside for years to come until it breaks you. It's what makes you strong, Mario. It's what makes you strong. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, now we just gotta stick this landing and everything will be good. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't have to do that level again. Okay, I think I'm sick of uh, the snow level. I think I'm sick of it at the moment. Let's go do Bowser. Go take care of King Koopa. Oh, look, it's Peach. Nope. Okay, time to do a crappy Arthur Morgan voice again. This always scratches up my throat, too. This sucks. <clears throat> you stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Oh, it wasn't a whole lot. Okay. This is where a lot of people tend to fail at this level. It's just they keep rushing, they need to take a second and stop for a moment. Okay. Balance these. And on to... Bowser. Here we go. How's it going, Bowser? It's been a while. You're looking very polygonal. Massive head, too. Tiny, tiny little T-Rex claws. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Rawr. Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here, never. <laughs> All right, man. You're asking for it. Oh, looky here, big boy. Who's got your tail? Scabba douche. Got him. Ugh, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later. See you later, man. I like how the bosses in this game, I never really like pay attention to the the semantics of how they actually like say their dialogue that's written there, but it's like, I'll get you yet, Mario, but see you, see you later, bud. I'll do it next Tuesday. <laughs> That's how these are written. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The Bomb Bomb King was like that. Bowser's like that. I don't remember if the Womp King was. I think I skipped his dialogue. But, uh, yeah, it's very, like, uh... I don't know. It's, it's funny. It's actually kind of funny. I got a dumb smile on my face. Okay. I'm having fun with this. The trauma of the snow level has been alleviated. Thanks, Bowser. You're a real bro. Alright, let's unlock the basement. I'm gonna stop here soon, though. I'm gonna do one or two more levels. Well, stages, not levels.
Mips. Mips, get over here. You rabbit. Now you see here, we see the Mips golden rabbit in its natural environment. Down in the murky sewers beneath Princess Peach's castle. It's flooded down here, and its soggy feet get all swampy. I don't know what's with swampy. Like, Witcher 3, Pokemon Snap. I've been mentioning swampy as some t type of, like, s verb <laughs> for, for things. And now I've done it here, too. Just, like, what else do I say? It's murky. This water's probably full of E. coli, and it's at Mario's chest line, so he's probably getting a really bad infection down there right now. Mario, you should probably see a doctor. Anyway. Just trying to be, um... Trying to end up on the front of National Geographic. We got a, we got a rabbit down here. Can, can he catch it? Can Mario catch it? Oh, he scared it off by punching the air. That's not a small move. He's taking a dive at it. He's taking a dive at it. Oh, and he hits a wall, gets a concussion. This is dire. This is dire, ladies and gentlemen. This plumber cannot take this rabbit out of the sewers without harming himself. He's trying to scare it, I think. Oh, and it scared it. It ran right past him, the bloody fool. He didn't even know what happened. Oh, and it juked him, too. This is a smart as a devil rabbit. Oh, look how much he's making a fool of the human. Right in front of his bloody hands and he couldn't grab it. Look at this bloke. I don't know what this bit is, but I'm going to keep doing it. Can he grab it? Oh, and he goes back around. It's becoming the Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Derby, ladies and gentlemen. He can't even chase a rabbit around the sewers. Oh, and he's getting tired. He's ready to just sleep in the muck water. Look at him. He's going to become a fish. Once again, so close. The lad is persistent, though. He's persistent. Oh, he had it right in front of his hands. All right, I'm done with the bit. I am done with the bit. I have killed it. I liked it. I did like that bit. I don't know what kind of voice that was. I've never done that voice before. Oh, that was close. Got it. Yo, unhand me, brute. I'm late, so late. I must make taste. I said taste instead of haste. You must go to a tasty dinner. This shiny thing, mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch. Take it then. A gift from Bowser, it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. Yeah, say hi to the Mad Hatter for me. Alright, so let's do two more levels. One more level here, and I think I'm good for the day.
I had a feeling I wouldn't stick the landing for that. Okay, Big Bully's over here on this platform. Yep. Go in the lava, Mario. It's nice and cool. Especially this time of year. Come on, guys. Leave me alone. <laughs> Mario, get up. Mario, get up. Come on. Okay, one's down. Gonna shorten the ranks, get rid of some of them. One more. Okay, now for the big one. There we go. Missed it. <laughs> Missed it again. Ah. There we go. Alright, I think that's it for me today with this. So yeah, I'm having fun with this quite a bit. There's some stressful moments. It's Mario 64, there are going to be, but... I never feel like the game's being exactly unfair. It's just the limitations of the game. And, uh, yeah, you just plow through, you get used to it, and trudge forward through the muck. Through the N64 Silicon Graphics muck. <laughs> and you can pull on Mario's face if you want. So, thank you for watching this. I'm gonna see how long of a game this is and how much needs completion for it to get done, because I don't remember anything about it in that regard. And uh, we'll continue next time with Pokemon Snap and then some more of this. So, see you later. This is the sleep paralysis demon that sleeps at the edge of your bed. I hate it. Looks weird. <laughs>